When working with large datasets, running queries can begin to take longer. Creating a MongoDB index can solve this problem. In this video, we have a collection of over 60,000 jobs in a JSON file. We will import this data into a local Mongo database using Hemlock. We will then try to filter and paginate a set of 12 jobs matching some parameters. At first attempt, our query will fail, but after we create an index for the collection, our query will succeed. Please take a moment to download and set up Hemlock with the link in the description. Hemlock is a database tool that simplifies database CRUD operations, facilitates automated database backups, provides intelligence support when writing database commands, and has many other features that will make you more efficient when working with databases. First, we will create a jobs collection in our database with the create collection command. Then, we will import our JSON data. The link to this file is in the description. The file is quite large, so this will take some time. We will be running an aggregate command. This command has a match stage to find all jobs where the commute type includes remote, or the job location includes remote. A sort stage to sort these entries using date created in descending order. A limit stage to paginate with a count of 12 per page. Finally, we use a skip stage to skip the first 3,374 pages, meaning we want the entries on page 3,375 that match our parameters. This command will fail with an out of memory error because we have a very large data set and the resource required to process our command is very expensive. To resolve this, we will create an index with our sorting requirements. This create index command will create an index for the jobs collection. The index will be sorted in descending order using the date created field and stored separately from the actual jobs collection. It should be db.jobs.createIndex. We can check for all created indexes with the getIndexes command. We should see our new index in the output. Now, every time our query involves sorting with date created by descending order, MongoDB will use this index to fetch our data. This would mean not performing the sort every time the command is executed saving time and memory usage. Now, we will run our aggregate command again. This time we get an array of jobs fitting the parameters we set in our pipeline. This is a great way to improve requests for certain data to a MongoDB database when computation cost is expensive. If you found value in this video, kindly show your support by liking and subscribing. Additionally, Explore the links provided in the description for more enriching learning resources. Your engagement is greatly appreciated.